No matter how often we wash ourselves, our skin is home to thousands of species of fungi. Some are commensal, like those living in our gastrointestinal tract. They would not affect us unless we are immunocompromised. But there are a few that are pathogens that can cause an array of symptoms ranging from the mildness of an itch to a systemic infection. One of the most common fungal types that cause ailments in both humans and animals is the ringworm. The most foolproof way of identifying the type of ringworm is by fungal culture and their microscopy. However, in most cases, microscopy is enough to identify the type of ringworm present. This video will illustrate to you the steps in order to identify the species of ringworm as well as the special features of two of the most common species, Trichophyton and Microsporum. Pluck out several hairs from the affected region and place it on an adhesive tape without touching it. Paste the tape on a glass slide, carefully omitting as much air bubbles as possible. Mount the slide onto the microscope. Each hair is made up of the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. The cuticle is a layer of keratinized tissue. The cortex is an array of spindle-shaped cells, and the medulla is specific to each animal species. It may be absent in animals that require their hairs to keep warm. Instead of a cellular medulla, the medulla is filled with an air space, trapping air within and hence insulating the animal. The medulla may be extremely cellular as well, appearing as a dark line in the middle of the hair shaft. However, what is characteristic of dog hairs is its fragmented medulla. In health, the cuticle is usually almost smooth and there is no loss of cuticular integrity. This is the mongrel who had been scratching itself. Scratching had caused the cuticle to lose its smooth appearance. appears to be an outpouching of the cortex in the hair affected by the ringworm. The hair shaft is infected by the contact with spores that occurs in the form of arthrospores or conidia. Conidia are sexual or asexual spores of the fungi form in the environment and arthrospores as asexual spores formed in the parasitic stage. Spores attach to the hair and colonize the cuticle feeding on keratin. They germinate by the growth of hyphae. Hyphae are long thin filaments that can be observed branching out around hair shafts. Microconidia are spores that can form in the environment. They grow by budding out from the hyphae. In microsporum species, microconidia are observed to be club shaped colonies. In trichophyton species, Microconidia start off like birds on a wire and then go on to assume the formation of a cluster of grapes. The characteristic identifier of the microsporum species is actually the macroconidia. It is a conidium that has three or more nuclei. It occurs in large numbers and it's large, rough and thick walled and arises from the ends of undifferentiated hyphae. Clematospores are large, thick walled resting spores. They are able to survive in the toughest, most unfavorable conditions. Ringworm is characterized by a flat, scaly spot with a raised circular border that is red due to inflammation. The border is scaly while the center appears pale with finer scales. 
It is important to note that ringworm is very contagious and has the ability to spread from infected animals to humans.